The murder of the heir to the Austrian throne was the last straw for Austria's ruler, Emperor Franz Josef. He was determined that Serbia should be eliminated as a political force in the region. He ordered an investigation into Serbia's responsibility for the assassination and said if Serbia refused to cooperate, Austria would invade the following week. But Austria needed help if they were to carry out this threat. They looked to Germany for support. The Germans were happy to oblige and promised to back Austria. This promise brought into play the established alliance system. Austria-Hungary and Germany were allied against the other great power bloc, Russia and France. War between Austria and Serbia would mean war between Austria and Russia. That would mean war between Russia and Germany. That would mean war between Germany and France. And that might mean war between Germany and Britain. On July the 29th, 1914, Austria attacked Serbia. In Russia, the Tsar Nicholas was urged by his military commanders to take action to help their ally Serbia. They told him there was no longer a choice. Russia must mobilize. Think of what an awful responsibility you are advising me to take. Think of the thousands and thousands of men who will be sent to their deaths. Tsar Nicholas was the Kaiser's cousin, related again through their grandmother, Queen Victoria. He attempted to avoid war by sending a telegraph to Wilhelm. I beg you, in the name of our old friendship, to do what you can to stop your allies from going too far. Nikki. To the Tsar. With regard to the hearty and tender friendship which binds both of us from long ago with firm ties, I'm exerting my utmost influence to arrive at a satisfactory understanding with you. Your very sincere and devoted friend and cousin, Willie. But events were now moving too fast for ties of family and friendship, and by 4 p.m. that day, Nicholas mobilized his troops. Russian mobilization was just what the German general staff wanted. Now Germany could mobilize, saying it was being threatened. Over a few days in early August 1914, the nations of Europe fell into war. August the 1st, Germany declared war on Russia. August the 3rd, Germany declared war on France. Deciding to invade her old enemy, through the neutral country of Belgium. Now Britain had to decide what to do. On August the 4th, 1914, Britain declared war on Germany. Germany now had to face war with Russia in the east and with France, Belgium and Britain in the west. 
most of Europe was now at war. Many old conflicts and rivalries between countries had come to a head. Archduke Franz Ferdinand was murdered in the battle to force Austria out of the Serb lands it had occupied. France and Germany had a lot of old scores to settle over borders. And the Kaiser was anxious to prove that his country was bigger, better and stronger than those of his cousins, Tsar Nicholas of Russia and George V of England. But there is no one cause or person to blame for the outbreak of World War I. Each nation thought they were fighting a just war to defend their own country and beliefs.